all right everybody welcome to your 12th wordpress theme development tutorial my name is mehul and in this tutorial i'm gonna add a slider to my wordpress theme and uh, there are about three ways to do that the first one being is that you code your own slider well that sounds awful because that would take you a lot of time to do and plus it would be just vulnerable to a lot of bugs and all that stuff when you start adding features like responsiveness or transitions or something like that so this brings us to the second option and that is you just go ahead on internet and download a jquery or any other slider and then set it up with your theme well that kinda looks cool as well but for that you would need to do some coding from your side also like you need to create a custom post type which we would eventually learn how to but not for now because that's kinda advanced so this brings us to our last option and that is include a plugin so so far sounds good that we could just include a plugin into our our wordpress theme and pretty much makes things make things happen but what about if you are kind of just selling this theme or just you know releasing this theme for free how would your users know that you are making use of this easing slider plugin or any other plugin in the world for your slider well for that what we can do is actually display a sort of an pop-up for or an alert for a user which would just simply show that uh, you need to require or you need to add this particular plugin to your website to make proper to make things work properly so for now what we have is a couple of things that is first of all we would like to install and set up this plugin and then what we have to do is inform the user about it that you need to install this plugin and this plugin kind of looks old but not really because uh, it requires you wordpress 4 or higher so let's try this out okay so now just go to your text editor and before even that first of all let's just go to plugins and write easing slider and install this activate the plugin and uh, here we go so for easing slider has itself added this option of sliders and all that stuff so the next thing we need to do is actually just go to this plugins editor go to easing slider and just look at this file carefully <laughs> because we're gonna do something with this file so what I'm gonna do is that go to functions and uh, make some space for this and I'm gonna say function show messages to admin and uh, what's gonna do is first of all we're gonna say include once that would be absolute path and uh, this would just give me absolute path to the working directory and then wp admin includes plugin dot php so this is the file which is right here you can see right there so if i change includes so if you just go to like includes plugin.php you won't pretty much get access from the front end might be from the back end actually includes plugin.php so you can see that it is the plugin administration api and it is a very huge file about 2000 lines so we are including this and why we are including this is to check whether or not our um, slider is installed so how would we check that well we need to check if this plugin is activated or not and that would pretty much give us the idea that 
if this plugin is installed or not actually so I'm gonna say if is plugin active and right here I'm gonna say it would be easing slider and this is the file name I'm typing right here so this would be easing slider and easing slider.php and if it returns true that means the plugin is activated otherwise it's not so I'm gonna say that uh, echo div id alert and class of error so make sure you give this class of error so that uh, you know this highlights in your dashboard and then I'm gonna echo again I'm gonna say p and this theme requires you to install easing slider and then we could actually just link this easing slider to its own page so that pretty much user doesn't have to just google this up so yeah so that looks like we are pretty much done with this and uh, okay so the next thing we need to hook this up to the administration page so I'm gonna say add action again admin notices so this would be the next one would be show messages messages to admin and make sure you spell that right yep so now just go to your page and it says me echo line 22 might have missed a semicolon at the end yep again reload okay so right now it doesn't show us anything let's deactivate the plugin and as you can see that once we deactivated or kind of deleted the plugin it shows us this theme requires you to install easing slider and it would stay every time unless you actually install this plugin and activate it as well so this might sound buggy but if your theme really requires user to add a plugin then this could be one of the ways so let's just activate this and then we're gonna create a slider let's just say this is a primary slider and uh, add slides so it requires me to add some images so let me just download some images for the slider and then I'm gonna re resume the video okay so now you can see I have downloaded a bunch of files and I'm just gonna upload them and uh, I guess one file was missing exceeds the maximum upload so okay so this is 2 MBs it might be a little larger than that so let's just leave that so we have got two files and yeah I have taken these files in the order of what was recommended in the PSD which is 1920 by 719 well that's um, way too big for my screen my resolution is a 1600 by 900 but for some desktops that was you know that is uh, the resolution so you might need to add that only and uh, as you can see it says make the slider responsive and advanced options enable 100% full width slider and crop resize images to fit the slider no for now I don't want that for transition we have effects as default then uh, okay everything else looks cool so let's just update this and uh, for all sliders if you see that uh, I have this primary slider and for template function I need to just go ahead and write in my appearance uh, no right here so what I can do is that right here I could probably say out of header I could say div ID 
slider theme or the other way around theme slider div and right here I can paste this code and do a little bit of cleaning out there so that it looks nice so this is an ID of 34 and actually what I want is that currently this slider would display on every single page we create because this is included in header so that's not actually what we want what I want is that this should probably display only on home page and not on every freaking page so to do that what we can do is I can say if function exists easing slider and and is home so what this would do is that it would check whether the slider is at home or not and we could actually just verify that by just going to this post a random post which we don't have a template yet and if you see if I get rid of this and save the file and reload this post as well you could see that the slider is loading on a post page actually and that's not what we want so I added this is home and uh, it looks good so <clears throat> this is a slider we have added for our website and actually you could just customize its height as well if you want to it says 400 pixels so you could just go ahead and WP admin sliders and uh, customize no this will be settings actually and uh, no not really inside this edit so we had this 640 by 400 you could just say 500 or 600 or whatever you want so you could even just <coughs> say the crop one which we had right here so just update the slider and uh, pretty much visit your side and it looks awful so no we're gonna just leave this crop one save update reload and looks cool so that's how you pretty much create a slider in WordPress and uh, actually just not only create a slider but enforce it by just you know saying to user that uh, this theme actually requires you to install using slider and if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then in the next one so thank you for watching